If you saw my last video about Kimi K2 thinking model, you know that this model is something very special. The results were honestly not only impressive, but to the point shocking. The model wasn't just fast or polished, it was smart. Look at this. This is Kimi K2 in action again for you. The thinking mode is on and the K2 is selected. I'm asking it to create me a very visually engaging fireworks and this is what it thinks. The model reasoned through complex questions, handled multi-step instructions without breaking and felt more consistent than some of the most advanced closed models available right now. And it turns out that wasn't just subjective experience. Independent benchmarking now has confirmed that Kimi K2 thinking is the strongest agentic AI model in the world. That's true. That's correct. It has already outperformed GPT-5 Codex, Claude 4.5 Sonnet from Anthropic, and Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro on the Tau2 Bench Telecom test. So today, let's unpack what that really means, not just technically, but geopolitically, because this isn't just about one model. This is about how Chinese AI labs are starting to challenge the dominance of OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google, and how open weight models are starting to lead the next chapter of AI development. Now, we are not taking sides of any part of the world. This is total technical topic and video, and what we want is to open source and also accessible cheaper AI. Also, I'm quite surprised at why Kimi K2 thinking hasn't popped the bubble in AI market as of yet, but anyway, maybe soon. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member because membership is what drives the channel. And if you become a member, I would highly, highly appreciate. And this channel will go on and on. This is the best way of supporting the channel to become a member. It just costs four to five dollars per month, but it helps the channel a lot. OK, so let's go back and see what our friends at Kimi have generated. Let me open it in the preview. So I have just opened it in the preview and you can see it already looks quite good. I'm just going to switch this mode for the full page. Before the full page, I just saw that now they have this mobile um, orientation, which looks pretty good. And you can already see the fireworks. You see, not bad at all. Okay, but I already have tested it a lot yesterday, so not um, in this video, I'm not going to bore you again with that testing. Let's unpack this, what this really means. So let's start with the benchmark itself, which you can see on your screen. So the Tau2 benchmark, it is one of the newest and most advanced AI evaluation out there. This is developed by Sierra Research, and it's unlike the usual test you have probably seen before. It doesn't measure how well a model writes an essay or solves a math equation. Instead, it simulates an entire environment, a technical support scenario where both the user and the AI agents have to coordinate actions to fix telecom issues. This means the model needs to guide, reason, plan, troubleshoot, and maintain memory across dozens of steps. The benchmark tracks whether the simulated world actually ends in a solved state, did the network get fixed, did the service get restored. That's the closest thing we have right now to a real world test of agentic intelligence, which is the ability of an AI to think, act, and adapt over time. In that environment, Kimi K2 thinking didn't just perform well. It scored an astonishing 93% success rate, as you can see, higher than any other model tested. GPT-5 Codex scored in the mid-80s. Claude Sonnet was in the high 70s, as you can see. Gemini 2.5 Pro was barely over 50. You can see Gemini is just going down. And these are not just some random experiments. They are part of the AI Intelligence Index, a professional benchmark suite used globally to compare model intelligence in reasoning, coding, and math. So this isn't just hype. It is peer-level evaluation. And I will drop the link to this artificial analysis.ai benchmarks in the video's description. 
Now, why did Kimi Keto thinking dominate? The answer lies in its architecture and its purpose, in my opinion. It is not just a text generator. It is a thinking agent built to reason step by step, invoke tools and plan actions across hundreds of runs. It's a mixture of expert system, 1 trillion parameters in total, but only about 32 billion active at any given time. That gives it, gives it the ability to specialize, selecting the right experts for each token, like calling the right mental subroutine for a specific task. Each expert is tuned for a special and different domain, language, logic, computation, even symbolic reasoning. The result, far more stability across long sequences. And then comes the efficiency layer of this model, which is again a very impressive thing. Kimi K2 thinking runs on native in 4 quantization, meaning it's trained to handle lower precision computation without losing quality. This gives it near lossless performance while doubling inference speed and cutting GPU usage in half, even when you test it online. You can feel it, and we did when we tested it yesterday. The response came fast. It was coherent and contextually aware. And also the context window is around 256k. It remembers most of the things. But I think there is something bigger happening here because this model didn't come out of um, from the West. It came out of China, which is under sanctions. I think Moonshot AI, the developer behind this model, are one of China's fastest rising AI labs. And they are not alone. We have Minimax, we have Jaifu, we have Baidu, we have Quen team, and there's a long line of model builders. All of them are now actually competing with each other, which is really, really amazing. Who would have thought that a few months back? So I'm actually quite surprised that uh, they haven't yet released any other modality on the same grid, but I think they might very soon. And as an important bit is that they have even released an API uh, model for this Kimi K2 thinking, which you can embed it in your applications. I have tested it out and actually there is hardly any throttling there. So I was very impressed even with their API based models. Now, I think that key takeaway is very clear from this video. Kimi K2 thinking represent more than technical progress. I think it's a statement that the era of open, global AI competition has truly begun. That innovation isn't con confined to closed labs anymore, and that the smartest model on the planet right now might just be the one you can access freely from a team uh, which hardly anyone knew about some months back. So if you have tested it and felt that difference, you're not imagining it. It is, it is, and it really is that good. And in many ways, that this might be the model that changes how we think about OpenAI forever. Let me know what do you think. Your comments matter a lot, and I read each and every one of them and try to answer. Please like the video and subscribe. And again, the request, please become a member, as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.